Hey gang, thanks for tuning in. I'm taking a look at a product from Pula's. It's basically a studio in a box. Unfolded, has built-in LED lights, has 12 different color backgrounds, and six papers. Each paper has two different sides to it. That's how you get the 12 um, papers, 12 colors. Um, you have to plug it into a USB, um, so you have a little, a little um, charger. Just plug it into any USB port, works fine. Um, what's in the box basically is the, is the light itself. Um, 10 different settings. Uh, Kelvin range from 32,000 Kelvin to 65,000 Kelvin, which is pretty much daylight. Um, and the dimmer has 10 different modes. So let's take it apart and take a look at it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Let's go. Okay, so it comes in a box just like you see here. I'm gonna open the box and just slide it out. And it comes in its own carrying case, which is kind of cool, you can see here. So if you're on the road, and if you need to go somewhere, you can just carry this, which is kind of nice. I like that, it's portable. It's got the handles right here, as you can see. Super simple, and it's all inside the package. So let's slide everything out and take a look and see what's inside. Before we do that, let's take a look at the actual packaging that I saw online. This is what really caught my attention. A simple cube, um, a different color, six backgrounds, colors, but you get two colors on each side, which gives you 12 different colors. Easy to use, you can hook up to any computer, USB port, mobile device, doesn't matter. Um, and it's a CRI of 90, which is really super bright, and you can just see here an example. I'm gonna give you some live examples of me, real life examples, so stay tuned, let's continue. Okay guys, so you can see here it comes with the papers, it's all folded up nice and neatly, so you can just take a look at that, so it kind of wraps around it, so let's pull that out, here's the actual device itself, this is a um, diffuser that goes on top of the lights, if you don't want to, if you want to block some of the ring light out, sometimes it's too bright, um, and reflection, here's a quick little paper here, that tells you what's in the box, the studio, the color paper, the soft cloth, and the carrying bag, which is nice about this also, I like about this, it does have a top, a top um, access point, so if you want to take photos from the top, you can, which is really important. Let's take that off, a little protective case, and let's pop this open. It shouldn't be too difficult to do. Uh, you just pop it open. And you just take this bottom part here, and you slide it down. So, so when, you open, when you slide it down, it opens it up and pops the whole thing open. You can see that it's like that. Just remember this is the light here in the back. So let's just push that, let's push that to the back. And then you just pop that to the back. Just like you see here let me show you okay so this does basically it locks it into place just like you see here so hopefully you can see that everything is pretty clear in there and we got some velcro attachments in here we got a strap here that's where the paper goes into and that's how you get your your backdrops okay it's got a uh, foil inside like a silver so what this does is it reflects a lot of the light which is really important here's all the lights up here you can see all the lights on top it looks pretty good nice quality construction nice quality very really good actually i'm very happy with the quality of this box and i got the 16 by 16 because a lot of times you do bigger products and you want to get some good shots in there a lot of times you can do a headshot here's a mannequin's head so you get an idea and here is the actual filter this is the diffuser if you want to use this diffuser you basically take this and just stick it up to the velcro on the top here and that's how you just attach that so we're not doing that right now we don't need that we're just going to add one of the colors and you can see the different colors here we have peach and we have gray and purple and blue and black and just a lot of nice variety of different colors here there's a green one a yellow one so anything you're using at all you can definitely have an option of color so all you have to do is basically just slide it in just like you see here and there's a little velcro on top here and the, and the elastic and just pop it up there that holds it into place just like you see and that gives you the seamless background just like you see here so now this is all purple that's really nice and let's take our take a look at the back and you can see the top here let's take another look so here's your top like i was telling you you can see here this opens up and you can take a, a top shot okay Nice size cube. And the reason why, like I said, the reason why I got the 1616 is because it wanted the extra space. And you can get smaller ones, but I recommend trying to get the big one personally. Look at the back here. Here is your power cord. Here. Okay. Here is your adjustments for the uh, intensity. That's important. Now let's take this off. You can see they do give you a quite a bit, quite a long cord, as you can see here. And you have the adjustment. You have to do have to plug this into either a power brick or the USB. 
uh, source. So we're gonna plug this into a little power brick that I have here. We're gonna turn it on and check it out. Okay, so I have everything all set up here. I got the purple background in. I'm putting my mannequin head in uh, to give you an example. So you can just see pretty much what I'm working with and how this kind of works. Again, it's a large box as you can see here. And I turn the power on, you can see both uh, the uh, super bright, the 65,000 Kelvin and the lower one as well. The, the, and you can mix these as well so you can get different tones, uh, different temperatures uh, of the light. So you can get up to 65,000 Kelvin, like I said, which is pretty much daylight. And you can adjust there up and then you can go from zero to 10. So 10, um, 10 settings up and down. So you can really tweak um, the actual light itself. As you can see, I'm going up, it's getting brighter and brighter. Um, and I'm gonna actually put some papers on the side as well. So if you're doing a white, you can add some white to the side um, just to fill the box in. Um, I do, I mean, I don't wanna get the really big box, it's just too big. Uh, so this is a good size work box, you know, when you're, when you're traveling and so forth. Or even on your desk, it's really kinda cool, very simple to use. And you can see here, uh, you can really adjust the, the, the brightness, the tones, the, the color temperature, depending on what the product you're working with. And that's the idea behind these these boxes. You can adjust everything, and that's the difference. And I'm gonna give you a couple, uh, couple snapshots that I took with my phone and I'm going to place them here so you can see uh, the actual product shots themselves. And that's really what you just, you know you really want to see. What is it you know what is it going to do for me? Um, so that's really the bottom line. So let's take a look at that as well. Now, any questions or any comments, leave down below. Um, and also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the video. Hit that notification bell if you're enjoying the content. Also, consider that super thanks. It helps support my channel. I really do appreciate that very much. Uh, if you like the content and if you like to learn, if I brought you some value, that really would mean a lot to me. All right, so here is the actual head here. I just have it set up in a basic color, just uh, just the 65,000 Kelvin, just super bright, and just see what I'm looking with photos here. So here's a photo with my phone. I always use my phone. I always shoot on Square, just so you know. Most formats, that seems to be most platforms, Square is the way to go. And you can see how kind of cool, right? You get that real color, you get that really nice balance. Uh, and I really like this a lot. And I got some other shots I want to show you as well. So let's get to those as well. And here's that actual shot. There it is. Okay guys, so here's some of the cutaways I was talking about. These are all shot in the box. I used the purple background instead of the black. I was using the black before, I didn't like the way it looked. Um, so you get some of the depth of the glass. Glass is probably one of the most difficult things to shoot. Um, so the purple, so you have so many different colors. You have to play and tweak and play with it. You definitely have to, it's a learning process when you shoot with a, a soft box like this or our studio. Um, so just gives you some examples of the, photo, of the photos um, that I did take. And these are all taken with my phone. So don't be afraid to use your phone. It really works really, really well. Um, here's a helmet that I picked up. You can see here, um, it's got some great details to it. You can really, it makes it pop, um, especially that purple. I like the purple with this one with the black. So that really looks good. You can see all the, the imperfections. If you want to, sh you know, showcase, you know, if there's some issues with the product, you can actually show that you can see it. Um, but like I said, really, really nice quality and you get the flexibility and you can see the bigger item. Like this is a helmet for an adult and it fits in the box pretty good. All right. Um, so that's really what it's about. So you don't buy the small, small one. I think it's just you could be, buy, be buying multiple boxes. You can always you shoot larger things and small boxes. You buy a small box, you can't shoot large things. Here's a huge pot. This is a really big crock, like an iron cast pot, uh, pottery. And you can see nice colors. Everything's well balanced. You can see inside, outside. The detail's really clean and crisp. Uh, so that's really what you want to do. You really just want to light it up really well um, and eliminate as many shadows as possible and give the depth. Here's a, sh a close-up shot of some markings that were on the part. Um, and that was really clear. I do a lot of jewelry. Jewelry is really tough, right? Um, so here's some uh, here's a menorah that I picked up, a brass menorah, um, and I laid it down flat. I shot from the top of the, uh, like I showed you in the beginning, so you can see that. Um, very important when you do these type of shots, also use a ruler. So I placed a ruler in it, and you know, now you can see exactly how long it is, so there's no guesswork. And someone say, oh, you told me it was six. No, it's really 10. You can see it. Uh, that's a really important tip. Uh, and also, uh, I did some, I do, like I said, do some jewelry. So here's a watch I was experimenting with. So I did this side shot here, which is okay. I wasn't 100% happy with that, and I was just playing with it. And you got to just play with this stuff. That's the only way to learn. Um, and here's another shot, a little close-up. You can see, you can see the blue dial around the side. Um, that's really cool. And this last shot here is really my bag best shot I think I got from this box um, it looks like an infinity shot it looks really super cool and you gotta play with it and you'll learn and boom there it is and that's a really that's probably an awesome shot right there that's fantastic that's something you see in any magazine just like that all right guys so I hope you enjoyed the video if I brought you some value don't forget to like share and subscribe do appreciate it as always and don't forget to hit that super thanks um, if you enjoy my videos it really helps me out quite a bit all right guys I'll see you at the next review